All right, rolling. No, I don't miss. That's how it goes, you know. Like, you know, I don't miss. I heard the net. So you need when you're good. All right, lob tutorial coming at you live. <laughs> Uh, this is how you can also get your very first dunk. So first you want to grab the rim, but if you can get to here, you can probably put one down with your fingertips. So once you can touch the rim, I'd say under your fingers, you can start throwing lobs. Where do you want to toss it? So you want the ball to bounce. You know what, I might use the little rim. As a simulation and you want to time your jump so you catch it right when it reaches here you, if it's too high you're not going to be able to reach it if it's too low you're not you're gonna to have to bring it up and over the rim you want for your first dunk you want it just above the rim high where you're reaching for it those are good for helping your jump but not for your very first dunk not too low because then you're gonna to have to catch it and bring it up that takes time you want it just above the rim like this so all you do is jump and put it in Jump at your peak, catch at its peak, put it in. I don't know if I did a good job with the placement of the ball, but I tried to show you where you want the placement. Now it's on to timing. So like I said, you want the ball to bounce just above the rim, so that way you can give yourself the best chance of putting one down. Because if it's too high, you're not gonna be able to reach it because you can't jump that high yet. But if it's too low, you're gonna have to catch it and bring it up with a waiter. The way to get that toss, you have to throw it really high, especially for your first dunk. It's a high rim, you're jumping high. So let me give you an example. So that was a pretty good toss, but the point of that toss was that when you throw it that high, you don't realize how long it takes for it to come down. So make sure you don't go too early or too late because it'll throw off your timing. You really wanna not stutter step and take some long strides and jump with the ball. I'll show you some examples. So this is, take a pause. It's about timing, so check your watch. Throw it high, check your watch. That is so bad. I can't really do it, it's too many things at once, but point is pause before you run and take off. Throw, now go. Oh. Let me warm up. Another tip is, where you want the ball to be, or where you want to take off, is the same as if you're just grabbing the rim with one hand. Hold this, my lovely assistant. All right, so I'm gonna just show you my my rim, my uh, hand, and it should where. I... Thank the earth for letting my me export the earth. Stop. Thank the earth for Stop. letting me do that to gravity. Appreciate it. You guys probably just watched the lob tutorial. I just watched it as well before I uploaded it, so I got the sneak peek before you did. Anyway, I don't think it was the best tutorial, so I just wanted to add this little piece just to kind of add some more details that I think you need to know. So I did go over the placement and the timing, which is the most important of the lob, but you need to practice both of those things a lot because 
Yes, if you get the right toss and the right timing, you'll get it, but those things take practice. They're not going to come right away, so just be patient. Practice those tosses, practice um, timing them, videotape yourself, and you're good to go. I just wanted to add that little extra because I felt like I did gave you a good guide of what to do, but you need to practice it. I just didn't uh, reinforce that point during the actual tutorial that you should need to practice it a lot. It's going to take some time to get those time, the timing and the tosses right, everything to work perfectly, but once you do, you start banging it. At first, you're just going to barely get it, barely get it down. That's still a dunk. That's how everyone starts. You can't just start banging it, yamming it right from the start, but then once you get a little higher, those basic ones, you can dunk harder because you have more room, and that's basically it. Go dunk it. I'm about to go to the gym right now, so I'm going to start this vlog right over as soon as I edit this one and upload it, so I hope you guys liked it. Let me know. Ask your questions. Let's go. Let's do it. Hard AF.